guys let us make nigerian jollof rice with fresh tomato shombo tatashi everything mixed together and blended without tin tomato when we call tin tomato to we mean tomato paste so i use this pot now this pot i have about seven in a set a set of seven and now the rice is parboiled meanwhile this is nigerian rice it's not basmatic it's nigerian rice so after you know bringing down the rice i washed it and then i washed it with enough water to remove because i noticed that there was a lot of dust then i put my oil on fire and then the next thing i did was to add my onions remember that everything is blended into the tomato paste so we didn't need to use that's into the fresh tomato that you can see here i kept it in the freezer so i added my you know the fresh tomato that I'd already blended with other fresh things in it i now added it to the already you know fried onions so now while we fry our onions inside that tomato we have onions that is blended but i like to build flavors you know making our jollof rice without building flavors does not come out well so i have to build flavors by frying the onions and then adding the tomato and then stirring allowing it to steam then adding hot water or warm water then we covered it to allow it boil after boiling we covered it for some time to ensure that it boils so well then we opened it and I started adding the, you know, the rice, the already washed rice. And um, I had added it, stirred it, covered it for some time. And it didn't take time to cook. Our jollof rice was ready. So let me allow you watch to the very end. Do not click out so that you see how everything came out. So my kids really enjoyed this rice. And my son was saying he really loved the rice. That I should give him more. In fact, it was because of my son. I actually made the rice plenty. I He really enjoyed it. He asked for more. Thank you for watching. See you in our next one. Bye.